Meet Jim Casey, a trained structural engineer. His idea of a good time is modifying standard pickup trucks and racing them against the best sports cars in California. I race full-size trucks and I develop products for racing. And I just decided, you know, I can take a truck and, and uh, beat guys with their sports cars. I would buy Detroit's best uh, sport truck and then go through all of the systems in the vehicle uh, and just creatively modify them so that I could be competitive, frankly, with the best sports cars on the track. Hi, I'm James Casey. What I have in back of me is the world's toughest truck, the 2005 Guinness Book of World Records, world's fastest truck, the Dodge Viper truck. That's right, the same Viper name as in the Dodge Supercar. And under the hood, the same tough drive train. It's got the same all aluminum V10, 505 horsepower and it's pushing through the same six-speed manual transmission that's in the Viper supercar. It's also massive disc brakes all the way around to stop this beast. 14-inch rotors up front with huge four-piston calipers. They got the biggest tires in the world, 305s all the way around, mounted on the biggest wheels you can find on the showroom floor, 22-inch. It is tough, and this will beat most sports cars. Under the hood, it's really a sight to see. This is the prettiest engine in the world. Clean, no hoses or tubes running. It's just huge intake manifold and big red valve covers that say Viper. It is a sight to see. It is gorgeous. Here's one of my products that I've developed to make the truck go around the track a little faster and to pass up those turbo Porsches. It's a remote control power tailgate. And it's my invention, it's my patent, but the coolest feature about this, it will automatically open up in a sport position on the freeway and improve the aerodynamics. And then, it'll automatically close as you come to a stop. It's a, it's a cowboy's, a poor man's Porsche Carrera wing is what I call it. That's very cool. So I use that also racing the vehicle, racing the truck. On the high speed banks of Fontana, 
I'm going 150 miles an hour and I'm really looking for the rear end stability because the, bed, the back of the trucks are light. So this thing opened up, gives me some downward force, a couple of hundred pounds of the rear axle and gives me that stability I need to get around those sports cars.